when you're tightening these up, start in one corner, then go the opposite, then the opposite, the opposite. That way you're gonna get even pressure all around. Also, part number four, that's just the freezer. This is a part number 17446 for the rollers. Now make sure this is wired up for, uh, this particular fryer is a gas fryer, so it's gonna be wired up for low voltage. You can see it's got two possible voltage types. You got a low voltage and a high voltage. This means 120 and 208. We gotta wire it up for 120. All right, I went ahead and wired up for low voltage. So uh, this first one here in the first terminal, let's see if it's getting focused. All right, I, that is uh, P1. Then you got P2, I believe it's P2, right? P2, T3 on number two. So that's, uh, oh shoot, I forgot already. P1, that's P1, P2, T3, left blank. You see a black wire goes here, and this is actually T2, T as in Tom, two. And then you're gonna put uh, L1 here and L2 from your lines from the, the fryer. All right, finally got the wires in there and stuff and got this reattached here. Um, it takes a little finessing, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a pain in the butt. I usually have this kind of cockeyed a little bit so I can get the wires on and then I just have to fight with that a little bit to get it in place. But overall, it's not too bad. So now all I gotta do is re-bolt it in place, reattach the lines, actually attach the lines first, then bolt it in place. And then we'll test it and go from there. All right, so before I go and test this out, I went ahead and replaced the missing O-rings on this so we'll have proper suction. So uh, we're gonna get ready to test the thing out now. All right, so what I do now, um, before I test this, I don't actually drain the unit. First, I go to the filter menu, push and hold the F button. And I scroll to fill from pan. And then press that twice to make sure it actually bubbles and everything first. Bubbles tells me it's got suction. I may not have to uh, bleed the line, so we'll give it a shot now. So now, now we're going to drain the pan, so that way it lets us caution. Yeah, because I accidentally bumped it and it gave me an error. No, there's none. I dropped a little bit. I'm not going to drop the whole thing. I dropped the whole thing. Oh well. Exit. Now go over to uh, fill from pan. Fill that. I watch it fill. And voila, it will now fill up with oil. A couple things to keep in mind while it's pumping is make sure you don't got any leaks coming out of anywhere, no drops forming, nothing like that. So that guys, I am done with this. I'm gonna go ahead and get them uh, wrapped up, cleaned up and out of here. All right guys, well, that's it. So not too bad. I know it's gonna be a bit of a long video and I do apologize, but this one's a little bit more mechanical, technical um, than some of the other fryers out there. Um, so what we got out of it today was is the seal kit leaked uh, the oil into the motor and the bearing seizing up the motor. So we had to change the motor, change up the seal kit and change the little rollers because remember they were starting to they have flat spots, which will actually affect the suction of the pump and make it less efficient. So, and then we also had to replace the O-ring so it wouldn't, uh, on the filter pan, so it won't suck in air, which again will make it less efficient, wear down the, uh, the pump head, losing its vacuum, and so on and so forth. So, now, um, with that in mind, guys, before you do any repair, especially something big like this, make sure you get the store's approval before you do the repair. It could be expensive, and they may not want to do that. In this case, they wanted it, they need to get done, so it got done. So with that, guys, hopefully this helped you out. I'm sorry I couldn't show you all the little finer details like putting the wires in the motor and reattaching the conduit. I really needed two hands for that. Um, but hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did and if you liked what you saw today, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't, well, then don't. Uh, if you've got any co comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can get more videos. With that, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.